It is silent in the air and hardly visible to human eyes, but never loses sight of the target. The Heron 1, reconnaissance for the Bundeswehr. Two German soldiers man one control station. The team consists of one pilot and one soldier handling the reconnaissance sensors. The Heron was developed in Israel and has been leased by the Bundeswehr. The German team will be trained here for this particular task. The pilot operates the control platform and is responsible for a safe flight. Once a flight path has been entered, the Heron follows it automatically and can focus on its primary task. The sensor system operator called payload, or tactical operator, keeps his eyes glued to the camera images. I have uh, found the highway, but you can tell me where I shall go on the highway then. A little, a little more to the southwest, more quickly to the southwest. It is not always easy to keep track. The payload operator is the soldier responsible for the sensor system utilized in the Heron, which you see behind me here. That means that I generate results, I operate the camera on the aircraft, and make sure that we get the images we're after. Whether it's cars, homes or people, the Heron can create video material and stills. The files can be transmitted in near real time, not only to specialists like aerial footage interpreters, but also directly to soldiers on the ground. Of course, all this must be practiced. As with any training, it starts with the basics. The whole course takes about three months, with the first four weeks focusing on theory. In the classroom, they make a start on computer-assisted training, which leads to the simulator, and thus the second phase. The simulator is particularly important for pilot training. Can you uh, give me a little higher depression, please? Okay. Okay, also well, so we are in the middle of a simple flight, and, uh, and we are training for emergencies. Uh, if a fault occurs uh, in the system, uh, we fly back. So I have a checklist, and I will work through the necessary procedures. Whenever there's something wrong with the engine, the first measure is to return the aircraft to base. This is important because the Heron only has one engine. This is sufficient for the unmanned aircraft to fly at an altitude of 9,000 meters and at more than 200 kilometers per hour. The optical and infrared camera systems can weigh up to 250 kilograms. One of the main advantages of the Heron is that we can stay in the air for a very long time. We have a flight time of a whole day. We can fly very far with it, more than a thousand kilometers from the place where we control the aircraft. We receive very clear pictures. We can zoom in a lot. We have real-time transmissions so we can see what is happening on the ground without any significant delays, which is a huge tactical advantage in countries like Afghanistan. The company in Israel not only trains the German servicemen, but also assembles the Heron from thousands of individual parts. Everything is put together in a specialized workshop. This modern technology requires specialists. This technical support personnel is provided by German civilian contractors. They are also trained here in Israel, so they can then be deployed in the mission country. We have established here a training academy in Israel and till today I'm proud to say that we have trained already uh, more than 80 uh, aircraft, uh, aircraft operators, more than 50 payload operators and a lot of technicians from the industry and those people are qualified and they are doing the job wherever is needed. That is the concept that we are working with Germany. Currently the unarmed drone is stationed in Afghanistan but there are plans to extend its use to Mali.